Hey guys, Ming here. Um, yest yesterday we started this live this family. So basically, you can change the panel size, and you can also have a um the total length. So it, it will have an array of the panel with that size and um the single panel at the end. But uh, the issue is. When you change when when this uh total lens when at some lens you you will have this warning telling you that's because this end panel uh become zero width so what we need to do is let me control Z uh what we need to do is just go back go to family type. Um, we need to create a new parameter for the end panel width. So let's call it end panel width two instance. Okay. So this one will give it a if condition. So if end panel width uh, equals zero. Um, if equals zero, I'll just give it like one, not one hundred. Otherwise, end panel with and okay. So now, if I change this to, for example, twenty seven hundred. Okay, sorry, I forgot to change this one. So okay, cancel. Select this end panel and go to width. Click on this one and change change it to width to two. Maybe okay. So now if I change that to twenty seven hundred, see, uh, the end panel is still here. So if I change it to twenty seven ten, so the end panel is very little, ten mil width, but uh, because I set it to be always 100 mil, so it's easier for us to see it. But what we need to do is just create a visibility. Uh, it's already there. It's okay. Go to family type. We just need to have a formula for this visibility parameter. So um, let's say not end panel with equals zero and okay oh hell end panel visibility not end panel with equals zero when equal zero yeah that's correct uh, the reason why it's still here because this is under a uh, family. So what we need to do is we can come here preview visibility. So turn it on. So now you won't see that panel. And let's try again flex family. So let's if three meter. Was there twenty seven fifty and the twenty seven hundred? Okay, cool. So this end panel is fixed. Now we need to fix the um, array because we all know that the minimum number of the array is two. So what if I change this length to um? 1800 still okay because yeah that's two times the single panel width if 1700 nope you can't do that okay so what we need to do is we need to create another number parameter so let's call it number no less than two 
and uh, where is it? Yeah, why is here? Oh, sorry, delete it. Create a new number no less than two, and then change to integer instance and OK. And then you need a formula if no less than two, if less than two, if number less than two, two, otherwise number. So say when this length is less than two times of the single panel width, and this num array number becomes one, but this one still keep uh, two. So what we need to do now is change that back to 1800. So and OK. So click on this panel, uh, the, the array, and tab, tab, and select this one. Change this to number no less than two. So now, if we change this to 1500, it's still the array it's still there. But yeah, this is the end panel. So now what we need to do is when um, the number no uh, or actually this number number less than two when the number less than two we want to hide this uh, array so cancel this select one of the group edit group select this create a visibility so let's call it array panel visibility instance okay okay and finish the group. Now go here. Let's um, let's give it a uh, formula not number less than two. So apply and OK. And uh, let's try when it's 1800 so you can see the array so that's the minimum size when we can see the array but any size less than that so you will only see that panel so now what we need to do is we need to have a single panel so this is the end panel when this length is less than the single panel width you will see only the single uh, end panel but when you let's say it's less than uh, two times of the single panel but uh, more uh, bigger than the single panel width so we need a single panel here so we just go to the floor plan and uh, uh, ignore this Place. Select one of the array, copy, ungroup, and let's al align this and lock. Align this and then lock. So now go back to 3D view. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's hidden. Yeah, because we have this, because we, we copy that from the array so when the array is hidden it's hidden as well so we turn this off so we can see everything so temporary hold this group hh hh so we will see this is the end panel this is a single panel so all these are linked already so because we copy this from the array panel so we just need to change this so this is array panel. We just need to create a single panel visibility. And OK, and OK. So now we need to go 
two family types and create a formula for this single panel so it need to be um, and length um, smaller than two times of the, uh, a single panel with panel width times two and uh, length uh, bigger than larger than uh, single wall panel width and uh, let's try this look good uh, went 2700 okay okay sorry I forgot HR reset temporary high and then turn on the preview visibility and then do the flex so 27 for good 3 meter yes 24 1800 yes 1700 yes 900 oh, something's not right here so when it's 900 so lens what we need to, to do is go here not Length smaller than this. Another bracket. And okay. So now let's try again. Twelve hundred, nine hundred, six hundred, twenty-seven hundred. Yeah, good. So. It's almost. I think it's 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 done. But uh, just let's just try it in the project. Load this family into the project, and uh, draw a line. So, yeah. So if we drag that back, and. Uh, yeah. Good. So yeah, you can also type in number here six meter, and you can change the panel width. Maybe. Yeah. So. So you you can even trim them. I think. Yeah. Okay, that's that's it for today, and I hope you um, find it useful. Because once you know, understand how you do all um, these formulas, and then you can you can create a similar family, like uh, um, maybe join array or or even toilet toilet cubicle, or yeah. So I'll see you next time.